friends, it's good to see you all again. I'm Natasha here and welcome back. So, uh, today we're gonna continue our fifth chapter. So, like, we'll be just, uh, you know, continuing our fifth chapter, which is complex numbers and quadratic equations. So, we're on the, uh, you know, we're on quadratic equations, and, you know, we were, like, discussing about the, the methods. Uh, so, some few methods, you know, for solving the quadratic equation. So, uh, first one which I can see was uh, factorization, right? Second one was like by completing the square method, whatever it was. And third was, oh sorry, third is going to be quadratic formula. So, we're going to have a formula for, you know, of course, solving uh, this quadratic equations, uh, and yeah, I'll also take an example so that, you know, we'll be like clear with it. But I don't think that, uh, you know, this topic is going to be that hard. Because, uh, you know, this just in formula, so what we'll be basically doing in the example, you know, as a question is uh, that, you know, we'll just see that how we're, how we're uh, like, how we'll be using the formula, okay? So, the third method, which is the quadratic formula. Let's write it. So, actually, the name of the chapter is complex numbers and quadratic equations, okay? I usually read just, just the complex numbers. Okay, so here I'll be writing quadratic formula. Okay, just write here. Uh, okay, it's fine. Okay, looks like I have to change the marker. Wait, let me write it again. Okay, so it's quadratic formula, right? The third method. Quadratic formula. Okay, so that's what we're having, right? Okay, so, uh, so, one thing that, uh, uh, you know, let's just first discuss about the roots. Oh, wait, actually I think I have always discussed about this or not. I'm kind of confused, you know, uh, whether I've uh, already, already, you know, discussed roots with you or not. Okay, I completely forgot. Okay, whatever, but don't worry, we'll be like discussing that in the next video. But, but you know, not in now. So, we'll be just focusing on this formula and it's nothing, it's just really easy. A piece of cake. So, let's just eat this and finish this. That's it. Okay, and one thing that it's going to be delicious as well. Yeah. Okay, so for quadratic formula, so what do we have usually, in, or what do we have an expression, right? Which is a x squared plus b x plus c, which is equal to six. So that is what you know an quadratic equation is, right? Yeah. So we're clear with this, and in the next thing to find the roots of you know a x squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. What we'll be doing is that to find this x, to find this value of x, we'll be writing this formula, okay? So, uh, what will be the formula? Let's see here, okay? So, x will be equal to b square. b square will, you know, okay, so it's just kind of a little, uh, you know, little, maybe it's gonna be a little confusing, but, you know, I don't think there's really, like, any kind of need to get confused. So, just, you know, let's just uh, focus on it. And, of course, we'll be able to understand this concept because it's nothing, okay? Yeah. So, x is equal to negative b plus root b squared minus 4ac by 2ac. Is that the formula? Is this the formula? Wait, is this the formula? No, it's not. Because there's one thing which is wrong is, you know, in a denominator, we don't have a c. We have only a. 
Okay, we have only A, this one, okay? Just the A. So we have to, you know, just remember this formula because it's a formula. What else can we do with it? So this is negative B plus root B squared minus 4AC. Oh, is it really 4? Oh, yeah, okay. So 4AC by 2 or upon 2A. Okay? Okay, so I hope we're clear with this, right? Yeah. So, uh, what now next I'll be doing is that uh, I'm just directly going to take the example, the question, right? Should I write the, you know, example here or here? Uh, oh, okay, so I'll be writing it here, okay? Yeah. So this example, which I can also say as a question, whatever you want to say. Example. Okay, let's just take an easy example. And what we'll be doing is that we'll be solving that quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. Right? Yeah. So it is 4x squared plus 4. Okay, so 4x squared plus, uh, let's say, 4 root 3x plus 3. 4 root 3x plus 3 is equal to 0. Is this clear? Is this clear? Right? Whatever you can say, you know, you can just write it up here or here. Whatever. That doesn't really matter. Okay. So what I'm saying here is this thing. Okay? So it's totally clear to us. Now the next step which I'll be doing is that I'll be solving it. And by using, okay, I think I've uh, repeated this multiple times. So I won't be saying it again and again, okay? Because this uh, sounds like a little annoying, maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's for you. So the solution is going to be uh, really easy. So first, let's know the values, okay? Like, what will be this A equal to? So what I can see here is that on comparing this equation with ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, we get that this a is equal to 4, b is equal to, what is it? 4 root 3, okay? Remember, 4 root 3, got it? And the c is 3, right? So one thing that, I, you know, I was just talking about this thing, right? So don't even write this because... You know, this value is different from this one. So it's just told here, you know, root 3x and that's it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so what I, I will just, I'm just going to write what I just said. So on comparing this equation, you know, it's a really short one. So don't worry about this. Okay. On comparing... And comparing this equation, this equation with ax squared plus bx plus c, we get, we get uh, a is equal to 4, b is equal to 4 root 3, and uh, C is equal to 3. Okay, is this clear? Then let's take the next step. So I'll be just saying that by using, by using quadratic formula, quadratic formula, okay, so by using the quadratic formula, what do we get? So, it's completely easy. First, let's write the same formula, which is just given here. Okay? So, it is x is equal to negative b plus... Okay, remember, here I'm going to write this plus minus. Okay, okay. So, let me add this here too. Okay? Yeah, let me add this here too. So, it's going to be plus or minus. So, here we don't know whether the value is going to be positive or negative. Okay, so plus or minus root b squared 
minus 4ac by 2a. Right? This is the formula. This is exactly the formula. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. Okay? And one thing that I want to say is that we can even write this as, you know, like separately in which the first condition I've used plus and in the second one I've used minus, okay? But I've just written them all together, okay? And it doesn't really matter. What matters is that we need to, like, you know, we should know the formula so that we can solve a question without any uh, confusion and with the ease, okay? Yeah, so now let's put the value. What's the B? It's 4 root 3. So let's directly put the value, okay? Okay? Yeah, so uh, I'm just writing it here, right? Okay, so I'll be just writing it here. So what I, uh, what I can see is that this x is equal to negative b, is, which is uh, 4 root 3. Negative 4 root 3, okay? Negative 4 root 3 plus or minus root b squared. Okay, so b squared, you know, it's going to be 4 root 3 into 4 root 3. So what is it going to be? Guess what is it going to be? What is going to be 4 root 3 into 4 root 3? It's going to be 48. Okay? It's going to be 48. Right? Is it clear? Is it clear? Okay, let's see how. Uh, I don't think, well, is there any need to solve this? Okay, but even if there is an... I solve it, whatever. So 3, okay, 3 into 3 is equal to 9, right? 4 into 4 is 16. But that, you know, that doesn't really matter because we're we'll not, we'll not be doing it, you know, like that way. So what matters is that we got our answer, which is 48. So 4 root 3 into 4 root 3, and that's what we did here. Because here in the formula, it's given b squared, and the value of b is 4 root 3, okay? So, which is going to be 48. Now, let's focus here. Negative 4ac. Okay, oh, let me just erase that. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be 4ac negative. So, a negative 4 into, what's the value of A? A is uh, 4. And B, okay, sorry, C is 3 into 3, okay? Negative 4 into 4 will be 16, negative 16, right? Negative 16 into 3, what is it going to be? Okay, 6 into 3 is equal to 18. 18 and 3, which will be 4. So, 48, I'm getting negative 48. So here, negative 48 by, by, what is it going to be? 2 into 4, 8, you know, 8 is equal to 4, so 2 into 4 will be 8. Okay, so we have done it till here, okay? So everything's just clear till here. If it is, then let's just solve this question and, you know, let's just finish this and now, okay? Yeah. So now what I can see here is uh, what's left here is that negative 4, okay, this is going to be negative 4 root 3, uh, this is going to be 0. Okay, one thing, can you tell me whether plus or minus will come or plus or minus, you know, just briefly, just tell me, what is it going to be? It's going to be plus or minus, exactly the same, okay? Exactly the same. Got it? Okay, so 4 root 3. Yeah, so 4 root 3. Okay, so it's going to be plus or minus 0 by 8. Okay, so now what I can see here is that x will be equal to root... 3 by 2, okay, okay, like, I don't think there's any need to get confused too much, 
right? Yeah. So here, uh, you know, if I'm going to cancel it, that, that will be 1 in here, and I'll get 2. So root 3, negative. Oh, yeah, I forgot the negative sign. Yeah. So it's actually going to be negative. Okay. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Yeah, so it's going to be negative root 3 by 2, or... Or the x will be equal to, uh, okay, so what I can see, what I did here was just really simple. Here it was plus or minus, right? So what I'm going to do here is going to be really simple, okay? So we've got our first value. Now what's going to be the second value? Second value is going to be that x will be equal to, uh, you know, x will be equal to the negative 3 okay so right inside this okay so it's going to be negative 3 by 2 okay okay so here we got this value and you don't need to get confused too much here okay we just need to be clear with the formula okay Nothing else. So we're done with this question. How about we discuss about, uh, you know, an, a short topic, which is discriminant. Discriminant is nothing. Let me tell you what's discriminant. Okay, so discriminant is related to the quadratic formula, also quadratic equation. So this equation, which is x squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, this expression is called the uh, discriminate and it is denoted by the capital D. It is denoted by the capital D and so if I'm going to say that what's going to be the root of the quadratic equation like the so quadratic equation will be like just given by you know this D capital D which is going to be just the same the formula which is negative B plus or minus root B square minus 4 AC by 2a okay just exactly the same so no need to think about it too much so this remains nothing it's just exactly the the suppression and nothing else okay so we're done with our today's question not again okay oh yeah so we're done with our today's question and and you know also our today's topic so in the next video like we'll be continuing uh, yeah, so we'll be continuing in this chapter, you know, a uh, quadratic equation. So there is a, a like few more topics left, you know, which is like nature of roots. Yeah, roots. So I will be discussing it's a really short topic and we'll discuss that soon. You know, of course, in the next video. So, you know, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.